This is an add-on board with LED red matrix for Raspberry Pi. It is based on Max 7219 driver and has two cubes with 64 LED common cathode LEDs on each of them. The matrix is 16 dots wide and 8 dots high. This LED matrix is compatible with any Raspberry Pi model and version. Here I have Raspberry Pi 1 model A and Raspberry Pi 2 model B. In this case, the main difference is that the second version has more GPIO pins. Anyway, we can mount the matrix on both boards. Let's assemble Raspberry Pi 2 with the LED matrix. I have flashed the GNU Linux distribution Raspbian on a microSD card. Please note that I'm not attaching a monitor, so we can say that this is a headless device. I will log in over SSH. I got the LED matrix from this website. At the moment, it costs less than 10 US dollars, including shipping. It is really cool that I was able to get in contact with the seller and they published my product overview on their website. I have prepared a couple of example applications. The first one is written in Python. I have enabled SSH and I know the IP of my Raspberry Pi, so I can log in as user Pi with the default password Raspberry. SPI must be enabled to use the Python script for this LED matrix. The easiest way to do it on Raspbian is through Raspi config. Go to advanced settings, select SPI and reboot the board. My Python script is based on Max7219 open source project in GitHub. Please read the instructions and install it as shown in the video. Clone my examples from GitHub. Execute the Python script as a super user. It will retrieve the CPU temperature and display it on the LED matrix. There is an infinite loop, so the script will run until you stop it. The second example for the LED matrix is written in the C programming language. You need to install the library BCM9835. After that, run make to build my sample application. Execute the application as a super user and pass a text message as a common line argument. The application supports digits and Latin letters only. Unrecognized symbols are replaced with a space. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for more videos.